Labor markets are more equitable and societies are more democratic when workers can organize and bargain collectively. In many countries, workers' movements are at the forefront of overcoming authoritarian rulers and building fair societies. In spite of being one of the International Labor Organization's fundamental rights at work, as well as a human right enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, there has been a shortage of available data to adequately measure their status globally. The labor rights indicators were developed by a team of international experts working with the Center for Global Workers' Rights at the Pennsylvania State University and the Global Labor University. It provides information on the status of freedom of association and collective bargaining rights in more than 180 countries. It is based on three different indicators, overall labor rights, labor rights in law, and labor rights in practice. By documenting and measuring violations of trade union rights, it offers an important knowledge base, both for practitioners and researchers, and a unique tool in making such violations more visible and known. While countries have an obligation to respect human rights at work, when trying to exercise their rights, many workers continue to face difficulties or outright repression, and trade union rights continue to be heavily restricted. For 2015, 3,094 violations were documented. Around 60% of the coded violations were in law, and 40% were in practice. In 18 countries, restrictions result in the general prohibition of freedom of association and collective bargaining rights. In 16 countries, restrictions result in the general prohibition of the right to strike. Even in countries where workers are allowed to organize freely, trade union rights are often violated. The most frequent violations include exclusion of workers from trade union rights, discrimination against trade unionists, and lack of protection for workers who unionize, excessive requirements to establish trade unions and to go on strike, and arrest and imprisonment of trade unionists. For 2015, the overall trade union rights indicators show that the region with the worst average scores is the Middle East and North Africa, while the region with the best average scores is the EU and other developed economies. Thanks to its multi-layered design, the data can be searched in various ways, such as by score, by country, and by violation for each available year. Countries are scored on a 0 to 10 scale, where 0 is the best and 10 is the worst possible score. The first page allows users to get an understanding of the situation globally. By switching between the three maps, one can learn about existing trends in the overall trade union situation, the situation in law, and the situation in practice. On the scores page, the country-specific indicators are displayed. The more comprehensive information is provided on the country profile pages that bring together both the scores, the coded violations, and the actual text the scores are based on. Providing accessible and transparent data, the Labor Rights Indicators website is an important contribution to the growing need for reliable information on compliance with labor rights. Consistent with its core mission, it was built on the premise that putting an end to trade union rights violations starts with making them known and known as widely as possible. For more information on the database and the method, please visit our website hosted at the Pennsylvania State University.